Anyway. Oh, she's cute. Who is she? Am I gonna fall in love with everyone here? Probably. Probably. Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for a new show. Uh, this time is a highly requested show. A show that has been here for for a bit, actually, I think. I don't know when season one actually premiere. Uh, but this show is Warrior Nun. Uh, this show, like I said, it's not coming and sponsored by anyone. It's just here because, like, a ton of people requested this show so i really hope that this uh reactions do well both on patreon and especially on youtube where people recommend a lot of things and then you guys don't watch it so the only way for me to continue watching this show is for me to have you know enough of a reaction of a or a buzz you know around uh this show um especially on youtube patreon people like really they do make me know whether they like something or not so i'm okay with that um but i wanna i wanna see the people on youtube you know actually uh liking and interacting with this uh new show so warrior nun uh we have two seasons season two just premiered a few weeks ago maybe uh, but I haven't watched season one, so I'm gonna have to watch season one and then season two, of course, as long as I have your guys' support. If I don't, then I might drop it, but it will depend on you guys. Honestly, it will depend on whether if I fall in love with the... Because I know there's a ship here. So, who am I kidding? If, if there are lesbians here and if I love them, I'm gonna continue regardless. So, who am I kidding? But, like, your support will mean a lot to me as well. <laughs> uh, anyway, so... Season one, episode one, is titled Psalm. Psalm? How do you pronounce that? 46 uh, 5. I, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, but whatever. It's the first episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. Hope you guys continue supporting for more because I, I want to do the entire season, the entire series, you know. Uh, but I want to. You know, hear you guys' support for it. Um, so yeah, we are going to do this first episode. Hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. I hope I like it as well. You know, let's see if if it lifts up to you know the amazing fandom that this uh, show has. So let's see how it goes. I hope you guys enjoy. Give it a lot of thumbs up if you're on YouTube. If you want to see more reactions for it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reaction. It's always posted first on Patreon. By the time probably I'm posting this on YouTube, I'm already probably on, on the second episode. So go and check it out if you guys want to be a little bit ahead uh, on this show. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And for now, I think that's about it. Without further ado, let's just begin with Season 1, Episode 1 of Warrior Nun. Here we go. <laughs> Is it gonna be creepy? That's creepy. Andalusia, España. Hi. Normal. Is she dead? I stare at her perfect normality. She was in hell already. What? Well, what are you talking about? Name as you wish. Wait, so she's dead? For God knows all and sees all. And will be thy judge. I feel like she judging. I'll take my chances. Oh, you're going to hell, bitch. See, I don't like nuns, okay? Fuck! Oh, I need somewhere to put it down. Sister Shannon, over here. They have lightsabers? Easy. <laughs> How bad is it? Let me work, Lilith. Are you strong, Oh, Lilith. Yeah, you're gonna pull it through. It's not up to us. There's a protocol. Uh-oh. Sounds like the fight followed us here. Oh, shit. Take it out. No. Oh, 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 okay. So are they all nuns? They've broken through. 
Oh, they are in love. You need it here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I thought that their girl just woke up and no, it was the other nun. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I scared myself for no reason. Oh. I think she's in love with her. <gasps> the fuck? It's safe. All will be lost. Trust. Oh. <gasps> Oh. oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh. oh, shit. I don't know why this is giving me Lexus flash flashbacks. No. Lilith. Lilith, what? <laughs> I don't think Lilith is up to it, uh, up to it, up for it <laughs> anymore. What is the muertos? Oh my god! Who are they? Why are they shooting at nuns? Oh! Wait! But she's dead. Oh, they're just. She's not that dead. Oh, fuck. What's going on with her? <laughs> I'm so confused. But you couldn't walk before. I think. Oh, she's really cute. Oh, fuck. Oh. What the fuck? So I'm gonna guess that the circle thing has something to do with it. Yes, you run. This is not a dream. I don't think so. I don't feel so. Oh. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. That's so bad. Okay, I don't think that's good for her. But she survived. She went through the wall. Oh. Okay. So that thing. Oh, okay. And why couldn't protect the other one then? With superpowers. <laughs> She's Hi, really Eva. cute. Oh, okay, Ava. Okay. <laughs> Poor. Brought someone back. Now that I'm aware. Oh, it doesn't do that. You're saying some random, formerly dead civilian is out there, with an angel's halo inside him. Apparently, yeah. So I'm gonna get, guess they're gonna try to locate locate her, right? Oh, she went back. I can move through walls. Sometimes. <sighs> well, one time. What's <laughs> happening to me? Maybe. A little twitchy about who gets to be resurrected. Th they really Unless are. They control the narrative. Why do you want to know about her? I'm following up an inquiry. And why did they... She hate her. The nun. Not exactly 21st century care. He has never run, so... This is exciting for him. For her. Exciting. See this shit, and it draws you like a helpless insect into a flame. Uh oh, I don't think that's a good sign. <laughs> she 
she is the cutest little bean. Look at her! All happy! Yeah! Go off, girl! <laughs> Speedy, there! On the floor! <gasps> oh! Sorry! I love her care. Like, she's got a child. Hey, can my god powers include swimming? Because I just realized. <gasps> I can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> you really didn't think that twice. Are you okay? Saved by a cute boy. Oh no, Check she's that strange. One off the list. Thank you. Or maybe Thank bye. You. We don't You're know. I'm Jason. Now try like, and focus, Ava. Jason, Jesus don't Christ. Do that thing where you forget to speak. <laughs> oh, long night, huh? Uh, Nice to meet you. <laughs> Where are you staying? Uh, I was hoping here. <laughs> Wait, is this your house? Okay. I Life don't know if I trust him. On. You know, I don't trust <laughs> priests either. You know? Look at her living her best life right now. Is she technically an angel or what? There's a halo inside of her, so. Does she I understand. <laughs> Doesn't she look like. I was trying to put who she looks like. She looks like Ellie from The Last of Us, the game. Right? You do? Strong woman, I don't need your help. It's not like, oh, he'll help, you know, it's just, it's yeah. just a little help. And I, I do realize that I. I mean, he's cute. I'm not gonna deny it, but I'm here for the gays. So where are they? <laughs> yes, girl, yes. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> I love what she's doing with her hands. Are they in love? They were in love, weren't they? You know I love you, right? And I love all the girls here. Yeah, I know. But not the way you love her. You protect the ones you love. Okay. And I'm protecting you. I think that thing is following her. Holy fuck! Otras son bestias del infierno que. Tú lo sentirías, sí. No entenderías. Creerías que soy un loco o un profeta. A madman. En no estos días es muy difícil creer en profetas. Yeah, that is very true. Joder, hermano. Estaba hablando de algo más sencillo que esto. I think you're in danger, girl. Uh oh. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season one, episode one of Warrior Nine. And I really like this first episode. It kind of gave me, like, like when they were taking the halo of Shannon, it kind of gave me, like, a Lexa vibe, which I was not pleasant. That was not pleasant for me because, you know, I don't know, it gave me something because that's the way that. If you have watched The Hundred, you know. Um, if you haven't, then just ignore me. Um, don't watch The Hundred, though. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, it gave me that. It gave me that vibe. Then it kind of gave me this like um, Motherland Fort Salem vibe when they were all training together. You know, the sisterhood and all of that. So I like that because I love Motherland Fort Salem. Uh, and I love the, you know, women together fighting and the sisterhood and everything that came with it. So, kind of like that. It gave me this also um, Da Vinci Code type of vibe as well because it's with the Catholic Church and, you know, so. Um, 
honestly, I really, I, I really liked it. I'm very intrigued by what's gonna happen to Ava. Why did the Halo brought her back? It, it looks like it hasn't done that before. They, they, they have used bodies in the past to kind of like shield it from um, demons, you, you know, in a way to try to hide it. But the bodies haven't come back. Uh, but we, we also kind of hear at the beginning of the episode Ava talking about like like her having you know this 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 uh, feelings of like seeing herself you know seeing her own body and having this this type of, of feelings and now it's kind of real because it feels like she was watching herself and then she came back you know and then with those flashbacks that she had like those visions I don't know if it was just a recount of her life or maybe you know past lives that she might have had I don't know but it looks like she is a, a, a very special girl I don't know why the nun that was at, at the orphanage uh, why does she hate her so much I, I, I honestly don't know um but nuns tend to be very, at least the ones that are portrayed in films. And also, I have known a few. They're very evil, okay? They're supposed, I don't know why they are so uptight and so, like, close and minded. I have met only one nun that actually retired from being a nun, like, very young age. She was still following God's, um, I mean, she was still... A nun, in a, in a sense, but she wasn't in, in the Catholic Church. Oh, well, she was, I think, but she came from other religions as well. Study other religions as well, so... Um, she was more open-minded to listen to all of us when I was in school, you know? So, she was the only nun I actually kind of liked, because she was very young, and she was also, you know, very sweet, very, you know, not judgmental. Whenever you had a question, you could talk to her... And it felt like she wasn't judging you, you know. Uh, even when I was beginning to question my own uh, religion, she was always like, it doesn't matter where you find your God, you know, God might present to you in different ways. And, you know, there is no one religion with the, with all the answers, you know. And that doesn't make you a bad person. Like the church, you know, the Catholic church pretty much say you don't have to ask you just have to follow you know and I, I don't I'm not really keen on that idea you know so um she was she was always very sweet then I have met other nuns that are just awful I don't know if it's I don't know they're they seem miserable you know they don't seem like they have enjoyed their lives you know and and like I don't know and this nun the one that was just so pleased that Ava was dead kind of makes kind of reminds me of those nuns you know that are not very happy with the life that they chose maybe or you know they're very judgmental and like aren't they supposed to not be that way you know um but who knows you know there are bitter people in the world not only nuns you know so uh but you know it doesn't it's not really good record you know, when you hear the nun say that Ava lost her, her mom when she was in a car accident, right? And her mom was Catholic, so that's why she was sent to the orphanage. Um, and that she was quad quadriplegic? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know how to pronounce it. So she couldn't move or, you know, she had some disabilities. And for the nun to be hating her? I'm like, what on earth, you know? She might be difficult, you know, kids with disabilities, you know, it's not always, you know, pleasant and, and, and all of that, the day-to-day -day life with them, it's a very difficult commitment, you know, especially if you're not the parent, if you're the parent or the mom, the, the, the dad, whatever, you know, you have that love already there, but when you are not, and you commit to, you know, this type of, of life of helping others and blah, blah, blah. You will expect for that person to not be, not to be so miserable and so 
awful to a young girl that might be difficult, yes, but at the end of the day, is someone that needs help, you know? And for Diego, it's he, he was told that, that Ava went to sleep and she never woke up. But I think that there is more to it than that. Was she poisoned? And also, why did the father said that maybe she's not a random person? And the fact that they said that her mom was Catholic, you know? And they didn't knew where to send her. They didn't knew anything about her parents or her, her, her dad, actually. It makes me think whether if her mom was also a warrior nun or something like that. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of questions out there. And, like, it has to be... It, it's not a coincidence that the guy that she finds, it's... His name is JC. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, right? It, that's not a co coincidence at all. Um, but she's seeing these monsters and these things, and, you know, now she is supposed to be, like, the leader of them. Because, like, the minute... Like, right now, she has a halo inside of her. Right? In her back. And she's using the powers. Not willingly, but she's using them. Uh, even though she's not trained. Um, and she's seeing these this spirits and, and demons and whatever. Um, and now she's supposed to be like... Like, right now she's supposed to be like the leader. Right? But if they remove the halo from her, would she still be alive or not? We don't know, right? And, like, are we going to do that? I don't know. And then there's this Shannon person, woman, that was the leader, the form, like, the one that hold the halo, who was very mysterious on the days before maybe she died. Uh, and I'm pretty sure she was in love with this Mary chick. Honestly, such a tragedy that she dies, like, right at the beginning of the this show. Um... But it's always like, oh, I love you, and I love you, and like, they say I love you all the time, but it's more like a sisterhood type of love, and I'm like, look, I'm gay. I'm gonna interpret this as you are in love, you know? <laughs> so please. Um, but the thing is that um, she knew, and she told Mary not to trust anyone, you know? Um, that includes the, the, the father, the priest, right? I don't know, I wouldn't trust him. Okay, um, why? Because he's a priest, that's it, in a Catholic church, that's it. Do you need more reasons? No. <laughs> I need more reasons? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the way it is for me. Um, anyways, what else happened, though? Um, yeah, so what is, it, what, what is that about? What, what was she hiding? How did she knew that someone already knew that they were coming? That the halo needed to pass to someone? Was that the plan all along? Is someone hiding something? Probably. Probably. And I cannot wait to find out. Um, I really like this first episode. Ava is super adorable. Cute. She reminds me of Ellie from The Last of Us. Her face is kind of like... She kind of reminds me of, of her. She's extremely cute. Like the way she danced. There is this kind of like childish spirit within her. That I kind of like. It's like, you know, freeing and refreshing to see her, you know, being just so carefree and, and like really living life. Sometimes, you know, when we are, we are all caught up with, with, um, family problems, work, things like that. And we don't get to just sit back and just enjoy life in, in its most pure, uh, form, you know, and just, be happy, be out there, you know, going to the beach and things like that. Not getting high, but you know what I mean? Um, just enjoying life. And, and that was really, that was refreshing to, to see uh, with Ava. And I really liked it. I really liked her. Um, not the part where she's, I think, look, in my opinion, everyone is bisexual unt until proven otherwise. Okay, so I'm not going to assume just because she says she kind of, likes JC, uh, I'm not gonna assume she's a straight. Why would I do that to her? <laughs> kind of like her, so I'm hoping. Um, but, you know, she could be bi, she could be pan. She could be anything and everything in between, so. 
you know, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she's really cute. Um, the other nuns, very, you know, there are a few cute ones as well, but, you know, I don't know how I feel about the, you know, the, the, the fact that they wear those things that nuns wear, so, like, I don't know if I'm gonna be like, oh, I wanna, you know, you know what I mean? It kind of, like, put, puts me off in the, oh, this one is cute, and, because they're nuns, you know, I'm, I have been raised as a Catholic, and whether if I like it or not now, it's not like, oh, I'm gonna find a priest attractive or something like that. Not my thing. <laughs> so, yeah, but badass, they all look badass. They really do. So, yeah. Um, I like this episode. I really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction for this first episode of Warrior Nun. If you want to watch more, if you want to see more videos, both on YouTube and on Patreon, make sure to give it a, a, a thumbs up if it's on YouTube, a heart if it's on Patreon. Let me know if you guys, uh, you know, want me to continue reacting. Because this show is was highly recommended uh, uh, on Twitter. A lot of people were, like, you know, excited and, like, really, really looking forward for this. Uh, but I want to see if you guys really are going to be watching because... Sometimes I sometimes people do recommend some shows and then no one watches them. <laughs> and it takes a lot. It takes a lot like time for me to, to, to record it and then to edit and all of that. So just just give it a heart if it's on Patreon or a thumbs up or a comment. It's free, you know, so do it. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. Continue supporting for more if you want to watch more. You guys have to uh, have to subscribe and like it. Yeah, uh, thumbs up. Uh, but for now, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. And I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Warrior Nun. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.